Good afternoon, folks. This is Henry at Cliff Jones Tractor in Sealy, Texas. I've uh, been having a lot of questions whenever I am talking to customers on understanding the differences between the hydrostatic transmission and the shuttle shift. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do a little, quick little comparison on the two, try to make it simple and sweet so I do not lose you. Uh, the two that I'm doing it on is going to be in the Mahindra 2638 hydrostatic transmission. On this one right here, it only comes in the hydrostatic, uh, the HST. The other one is going to be the Mahindra 2545. Uh, that only comes in the shuttle shift. Uh, so let me show you the differences between the two real quick. Uh, let me get on up here. You do have your range selector. Uh, you got a high, low, and medium right there. Uh, right now I have it in medium, um, and then the hydrostatic transmission is uh, forward in, excuse me if you can see it, there it is, forward in reverse just by switching up the foot. Great for doing loader work, so let me show you how that works. Um, you cannot start this tractor unless, uh, the beat, unless your brake's pushed in, so there that is. Alright, so pick up the loader. Okay, so I already have it in medium. And now let's go, okay, reverse and forward. Go forward and reverse. Okay, pretty simple and sweet. It's great for doing loader work. Um, or if you ever have a family member that's never been really on a tractor before and uh, you want to show them all about it. Um, but for safety reasons, um, uh, you don't have to uh, get the clutch of the brake or anything to come to a complete stop. So, all you have to do is just switch the foot. But you can see, as soon as you take your foot off, it comes to a stop. All right? So that is going to be the hydrostatic transmission. Great for doing loader work or for safety uh, purposes for a family member. Okay? Drop that down. Turn it off. All right, so now to the shuttle shift. Okay. Okay. All right, so shuttle. What I mean by that, you have a high, low, and medium, four speeds from right here. And then gotta hit the clutch to go forward in reverse. Okay, so, so it's kind of like a, you know, it's almost like a geared tractor. I had a customer tell me, oh, it's like a hybrid of the old school geared tractor, you know? So it, yeah, he's just about right. Okay, so right now I have it in a high, I have it in second on here, and I have it in neutral. Okay, so uh, you won't be able to start it until you hit in the clutch. Okay, so it's a good safety on here. Okay, so I already got it in my ranges, and let me pick my loader up, and hit the, push the clutch in, and then go forward. Get the brake in the clutch, put it in reverse, and go back, okay? I mean, both are really good. Both are really good. It all depends on which one you prefer. So that is that. It's pretty simple there. So that is the shuttle shift. They do offer a power shuttle shift on a few of our tractors, like this one next to us. This one is going to be the 3600 series. Um, power shuttle shift and what that means it still has your high and low medium four speed so it is going to be 12 forward 12 reverse but to go forward and reverse from the column you do not have to hit the clutch this time so um, and that's the reason why this one has uh, a different price point on here this is one of Mahindra's premium tractors um, and then the 6000 series also has the power shuttle shift now also Okay, guys, so that is the difference between the, the uh, hydrostatic and the shuttle shift transmission. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me. Give me a call at 832-960-9806. 832-960-9806. Let me know what I can do for you. Please like and subscribe to my channels. If you have any other uh, videos you would like for me to make, let me know. There's our billboard, guys. We're located in Sealy, Texas, off Interstate 10, exit 720. Thank you very much, guys, and y'all have a great day.